all right so jumping straight into this video this is a fabric that I am using for the life of me I cannot remember what type of fabric this is but I'm just showing you the pattern my options were kind of limited in terms of Christmas pattern so this is the best that I could do given my color scheme so my pillow is going to be 16 and 1 quarter inches by 16 and 1 quarter inches and before I forget let me mention Head on over to my Instagram. My handle is going to be right here on the screen. Every day up until Christmas Eve, I'm going to be opening up my advent calendar. So if you want to see what I got today, go ahead and head on over. I lay the fabric out flat. And to be honest, both sides were the same. So I didn't necessarily have a right side or a wrong side. So go ahead and fold over your fabric. And then with my measuring tape, I'm just going to make sure that both sides of the fabric measure 16 and 1 quarter inches. Then with the measuring tape again, because it is a square, I'm going to go with width and measure 16 and 1 quarter inches across and using my tailor's chalk, I'm just going to mark that out. So I'm taking my fabric scissors. No, this is not my trusty dusty use all scissors. This is exclusively for my fabrics. And I'm just going to cut out right along the mark line. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the top as well. And I went ahead and I cut the bottom of the fabric. Now, if you are lazy or you want to just be easy, not like that but you know what I mean you don't have to cut the bottom but I wanted it all of the edges to have a seam so I went ahead and cut it so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a zigzag stitch now if you have an overlocking machine this is even better but I don't have one so I'm using what I have I went ahead and I took a zigzag stitch and I'm gonna stitch all along one side of the fabric and when I say one side of the fabric I'm gonna take one square I'm going to sew all the way down one side. And then I'm going to take the other square and sew all the way down the other side. And I'm taking my zip. Again, this is not a tutorial, so yeah. And I'm not the best with zips, I'm not getting the hang of inserting zips, but I'm taking my measuring tape and I believe I measured about a half inch down. And what I did was I put pins along that measurement. Now, really you should probably base this and when I say base, base is like a hand, a loose stitch to make sure the zip stays in place, but I was too lazy for that and I wanted to do it quickly. So I used pins. And of course going all the way down because I want it to be uniform I'm taking the measuring tape I'm measuring a half inch down and then I'm gonna put the pin into that measurement once that's done I'm gonna go in with my presser foot which is for zips and I'm gonna sew a straight stitch all the way down of course be mindful of the pins if you're using pins and just sew all the way down that one side so I forgot to mention that this is an invisible zip. If you have fabric that has a right and a wrong side, you're going to take the fabric with the right side facing up and the zip is going to be facing the right side down. So basically, 
you're gonna have the right side of the fabric touching the right side of the zip and this is how you're gonna sew all the way down so this was a little bit of a fiddle remember I told you I'm not not getting a hanger in certain zips and not even sure if I did it right or wrong but what I did was I took up the presser foot as well as the needle and I just lifted it ever so slightly and then I moved the zip up past the point where I had sewed then once I'm comfortable with that placement I'm just gonna sew all the way down to the end of the zip and then taking the second square of fabric I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other side and this is gonna connect one square with the other square Once that's done, going back in with my regular presser foot, I'm first going to measure out half inch seam allowance and I'm going to sew all the way down using a straight stitch. First, back stitch. Back stitching ensures that your fabric does not come apart. And of course, I am going to repeat this process of sewing all the way down on the two remaining sides. Then, going in with a zigzag stitch, I'm going to use this to finish off. This is going to prevent the fabric from fraying well, as much as possible. And this is it all complete. As you can see, this fabric frays a lot. But the zigzag stitch is gonna help prevent the fabric from unraveling. So I had a little bit of a, a little, not issue, but I had to use some elbow grease here. And I'm just gonna turn the fabric inside out so that the pillowcase is then complete. You should have something that looks like this this is what it looks like once it is all nice and stuff and this is what it looks like on my bed all nice and done and finished for Christmas so I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and click that button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlogmas video I will catch you on another one. Bye-bye.